What is up guys, it's Gnosis the God here, um, and today we're going to be talking about DC Universe Online DLC updates 15 and 16. Uh, these are the next two that are coming, um, and one of them is a War of the Light episode, and the other one is a DC, Wo or a DC Bombshell episode, so I'll get into that in a second. So the first one is going to be the Bombshell one, um, but before we get into that, it's going to be delivered in a two-pack that's what, so this is what Jens Anderson said. So it's going to be delivered in a two pack and it's going to be $4. Um, so you get all the new content for $4, I guess, which is nice. Um, and let's talk about the, actually, before we talk about the bombshells and the, um, War of the Light, he also mentioned that there'd be, they'd be, have more of a variety for the gear. So one of the things they're doing is elite gear, which is like, you have a style. So after, so say you have a raid set. Um, one of them was like a Green Lantern one, and that it, it looks pretty cool when you get it from the raid, right? But then the Elite set has a little bit more quote-unquote bling, that's what they said. Um, and so maybe the Elite set will get, like, it'll it'll um, have an aura to it, or it'll move around, it'll, like, the parts of it will move. That'd be, like, they just, it just looks cooler. Um, it doesn't give you any more stats, any stats boosts, um, according to what I heard. But it just looks cooler. They just talked about the bling, and they also didn't talk about how you'd get the elite version versus the um, the regular raid set or the regular piece of gear. I don't know. I guess they'll go into that into further detail in the future, and I'll be covering that when that does come out. Um, they also said that they're going to be doing more content variety. So instead of um, releasing, they're going to start releasing DLCs um, or episodes. I guess now they're called in shorter periods of time. So rather than one, I think they said one, rather than one at the end of each like month, they'll do a couple each, or uh, every, I don't even know what it was, but basically the episodes are going to come out more often. Um, and that's going to allow them to have more content variety because they're, one of the issues they came across, they said was that, um, you'd only get, you get like an Amazon Fury DLC and then people would play it and they'd just get tired of Amazons. Like, oh, I, I don't want to keep playing Amazons because you keep playing, repeating the same content over and over again, right? So they don't want to keep playing that, so they complain. And then the next DLC is Green Lantern. The, the next one comes out in a couple months, right? And it's the Green Lantern or it's the War of the Light. And then they get tired of Green Lantern characters. So now they want Batman characters or whatever it is. Um, so they're going to try to do it, have episodes come... Um, more often, which is nice. So let's get into the bombshell and the um, the War of the Light part. So bombshell is 50, episode 15, I believe, and it's kind of like a 19, 1940s kind of era to the characters, and it's all women characters according to what I heard from Jens Anderson, um, and it's kind of like based on the World War II kind of stuff with propaganda posters. I'll have, I'll try to put pictures in the video so you guys can kind of get visualize what I'm saying here, um, and it's going to be kind of a separate reality from the main storyline of DCUO, which is also interesting. They said the main pro the main villain of the of the DLC of the episode is going to be Talia Al Ghul because they want to do more with the League of Assassins, which is which is also very nice. Um, so, let's see, okay, so then they've also got the new, the next episode is going to be War of the Light, and that one is going to include the two new tri two new groups, the Indigo Tribe and the Black Lanterns, which is very nice, I, I'm, I like the Black Lanterns, I think they're, they're interesting, um, and it's going to be, the basically the Black Lanterns are kind of corrupting things, and you have to kind of push them back. Um, I'll, have, I'll try to get a picture up here for you guys to see that as well. So they, they showed Indigo Tribe Armor, and they showed some Green Lantern uh, Power Armor, which the Green Lantern Power Armor looked really sick. Um, I'll try to put that here as well. Got a lot of stuff to put on the video, guys. Um, going back to the bombshells, sorry, I forgot to mention this. Um, for the raid, they said they're, you're going to be fighting with Wonder Woman, Catwoman, uh, I think Supergirl, and some other some of the other uh, female characters in the DC Universe in bombshell form, so in that 1940s era, kind of World War II style to it. And the raid will be that style as well, and you're going to be going up against Talia, Talia Al Ghul, as I said before. So that's all it is, guys. Just um, I, I think the elite idea is pretty cool for the gear that it has that bling to it because I think the bling is, plays a big part in like you know just showing it off to other other players, which is nice. Um, and I like the way that they're thinking about getting new content and stuff. Just looking very cool, guys. So of course, let me know in the comments below if I missed anything about this. If you've heard anything else, 
um, or what your favorite part uh, of this kind of episode 15 and 16 for the DLCs is looking like, like which part you, you like the best. Um, like the video if you're hyped for it, and subscribe for more DCO updates. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.